How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, I am taking on a challenge which... For some reason I have a feeling I'm going to be... I'm going to find quite easy. And it fits me very well because it involves speed, which is the thing I love doing in this game. I love going fast. Now, the last world sort of record challenge I did didn't go down well with some people because I used mods and what have you, which understandably... And I did cheat at the end. Um, spoiler, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> I did cheat. And uh, yeah, I'm very much guilty of doing those things, but this time I plan to do it right and by the book, but still kind of keep it crazy and wacky at the same time. We are going to be attempting the land speed record this time, which was suggested by one of you guys in the comments. It's something I've had on my mind for a while, but I was like, eh, I can't really be bothered. I heard that it's quite easy, but I heard that the way you want to do it really is to do it on the runway and manage to stop before you reach the end of the runway. So you reach the speed and then you stop before you hit the end. So you don't explode. Basically to keep the car intact. Basically how they would have done it in real life, because if they kept going at 763 miles an hour, because that's the land speed record, they would have just exploded because they would have hit something. So yeah, we are going to be attempting to beat... I believe it was called the Thrust SSC. I'll put a picture on screen because it looks so cool. It's like I'm. It looks some sort of like absolute. It looks. It looks like Batman had some steroids and decided to add some things to his uh, once old Batmobile, like the older version of the Batmobile, not as so much the newer one, but the older one. But uh, yeah, I basically want to do it on the runway and try and stop before I go off the edge. That is a lot harder than it may seem. To specially achieve also 763 miles an hour, which in meters a second, which is what this game records in, is 341. So I've had, I've got to go 341 there or thereabouts. Um, I've got to go about 341 meters a second and stop before I hit the end of the runway. Uh, what do I want to use? What do I want to use? It's going to have to be rocket powered, isn't it? Because that one, the one in real life had rocket engines attached to it, two of them. I may add more than two. I might do that. I might add like, I don't know. Could I add SRBs to it? Would that be cheating? Not really. I mean, I could. That's not cheating. That's part of the real game. Yeah. Oh, God. I clicked out of the game. Not good. Uh, If I go and just add these at the bottom and then add wheels to it. Then we should be good. Kind of. Yeah! I'm gonna have this challenge done in a jiffy. This is gonna be like the fastest one I've ever done. Uh, lock steering. Oh god, wait, what? Are these steerable? Oh god, I've never used them before. No, I'll lock steering on the back wheels, but the front wheels will have it. Well, that's probably gonna be, like, absolute death. If this works and hits the speed I need it to, that is gonna be quite funny. <laughs> Because, oh god, as we know, solid boosters are ridiculously powerful in this game. So I'm going to turn this AS on just to keep it stabilized, hopefully. Oh! Okay, this is... That's 200. 200. 300! Uh, I nearly hit it. I was at 320 when it did it. I'm almost there. <laughs> and I was that far down the... I was halfway down the runway. And I was already at the right... That's perfect, because then that means I've got half the runway to slow down. I have no idea how I'm going... That's the, where the real challenge in this is, because I've nearly done it. I've nearly done it, and I've been playing for, what, 10 minutes? That is the fastest I've ever done a challenge. I think perhaps even just adding, like, winglets here will help it. Especially if I have SAS on, they're going to sort of, like, bend under the pressure and stuff, and it might stop it a bit. Oh, look at that. It looks like a missile. Oh, I like that. That was cool. Right, so, wheels. Let's attack, un decouple those. That's not the right word. Remove. That's the right word. <laughs> and I need to keep it as close to the ground as possible as well. Because then that means no air can get underneath it very much to actually lift it up. Because I think that might be what's doing it. It's just getting, going so quick that the air's rushing over it so fast that it's just losing balance. That's a viable statement. Yeah, I think I might have sussed it, sort of. So, let's test that. It's less aerodynamic now, so of course it's not going to reach the speed quick enough, but I just want to see if it will go in a straight damn line. That's 280. 
300, 340. It works! Whoa! Bill! Bill! Brace! Brace! Oh, yes! Um, Jesus Christ, you'd get so dizzy. Okay, so it works. Now, let's start removing parts until we can finally reach the speed quick enough to actually be able to slow down. Alright, let's see if this works. Full thrust. This is with one rocket, by the way. I can add more. 300! 300, 300! I've done it! I did it! Oh my god, it's actually taken off like a plane. Look! Whee! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that worked. Now it's a matter of slowing it down. How in the... Parachutes? Did they use parachutes in real life? I have no idea. I mean, the space shuttle uses them. Mm, so it would make sense. Hang on, that's actually really easy, though. However, I will just, like, add shit and make it look crazy as well. I might try and recreate, as I say, the actual one that they did. And see if it works. So I can be like Mythbusters. Does it actually work? No, it was all a conspiracy. <laughs> what if I add that? No, that's... Is this actually more powerful? Hang on. Thrust is... In the atmosphere, it's 593. So what's this one? 300? Why was I using that one? Oh! Ball sacks. Okay, no, we'll remove that and then we'll fix it. I'm on it! Okay, here we go. Oh. Uh, let's remove that. Put that. No, and then throw that up there. Yeah! Okay, SAS. Go! That's 100. Oh, 200. 300. And slam on there. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Please, please, no. <laughs> uh, that, that, and like that. Right, SAS, and go. And stop. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, no. Technically, I did it because I didn't die. Yes! Actually, I didn't die ages ago when he landed in the sea, so technically I did it then. I don't really know how to stop it from doing that, honestly. I'm not sure if this is going to do very much either, because these ones in front are going to do all the work, and then these ones are just going to be, like, in the way. Or well, those ones will be in the way of these ones. But we'll put them on there anyway, and we'll remove that. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Max Frost, go! Breaks! Breaks! Everything you've got! Please stop! Please stop! Everything's on! Yes! It is the it's one of the easiest challenges ever. I don't know what people are complaining about. I mean, I don't think anyone is complaining because it is. It's so satisfying though. Like I went incredibly. Qu Hang on, I want. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Just removing two drogue parachutes worked. What? Look, I will do it from further back just to see how you'll get an idea of how quick it's going. Oh, here we go. That's it. Boom, 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 boom. We're not even at the right speed yet, and we're at it. Go, pull the brakes. Everything you've got. That was how quick it was going. I had to pay attention to other stuff, so I wasn't really looking. But it's incredibly quick. I went way faster as well. I went like 360. I'm not going to be able to catch what number it is before I realize. So I'll have to do it in the edit to see what I actually hit. So now we've done it. I don't want to end it there, though. I want to now replicate the original one, or not the original one, but the Thrust SSC. So build something that looks like it and do the same thing. Now I've done it, I have successfully completed it, so why not? Okay, so I've got a picture of the Thrust SSC up. And I ha this is the first time I've really looked at it in detail. It is the coolest looking thing I've ever seen. It looks so weird. I love that. Okay, so, how do I want to do it? I think we go with the same pod. 
And again, I want to try and replicate it. It used two engines on the outside. So I'm going to try and do it that way. So, how do I... I don't know what I want to add for the the sort of center bit. I think we do just go with... Uh, I don't really want to add fuel. I just want to add a fuselage. Hang on, you can actually do that, can't you? I've seen it. Now, this thing is incredibly long. So I might get the length wrong, but there we are. We'll go with that long. It's about right. Ish. It's got like a giant wing at the back as well. I don't know how I'm going to add that. I mean, I, I guess with one of these, but... None of them are like shallow enough. All of them are really big. Oh, come on. There's got to be something in here. Eh, yeah, that could work. We'll probably remove most of that, if not all of it. We're not going to need monopropellant. That's just saving weight. I've added the big fin thing onto the back. It's a bit exaggerated than from the original, but that's probably because I can't really make it smaller. I mean, I can with the offset tool, but it'll be a pain in the ass. I can't be bothered. So, <laughs> I'll just go with that. But this, this thing is looking awesome. It does kind of look like it. If it was black, then it would look more like, and have sponsors all over the bloody thing, then it would look exactly like it, sort of. It already has a sponsor, Kerbal. Yeah, Kerbal Space Program. They're, they're sponsoring it. Hang on, weren't I called Strutco? Oh, I was, but I, I reset it, didn't I? Oh, no, 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 Strutco. Yes, we're back to Strutco. Okay, so how are we going to add these engines? Now, I have just gone off and got the um, Tweak Scale mod because I believe it'll, it'll look the part if it sort of resembles the same shape as well. Like, these are bigger than the main actual en like the main actual fuselage, as it were. So, I can make these and like add them on and now they look massive and awesome. So, yes, we'll add those. And I don't know what I want to add to the front. I'm not sure if I want to add those. What do I add? Those or those? thinking those okay and now I need some jet engines now this I have to get right because I'll get people get very angry at me if I use the wrong ones <laughs> so what do I use uh um I don't know it needs to be air cooled now I don't know what ones they would have used well how what's the max thrust of these max thrust is a lot on that thing holy shit that's a lot and I know that's from the base game right I don't know Okay, I don't believe these are a part of the real game. Because it says Trigon Projects on there for the manufacturer, and so does these, and I know these are not. So, good, because I was about to use them, because I have no idea. They do look cool, though. Maybe I'll use them if I can't do it. I've technically done it. Now this is just sort of a, an extra thing that I want to try. Just try and rebuild the look of it. Whether it actually works, I don't care. But... <laughs> Because the funny thing is, I'm pretty damn sure they had longer than this runway. I think we are ready for its first run. It hasn't got a parachute on it yet. Yes, but we'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. <laughs> we'll figure out how to not kill Bill in a minute. Okay. Oh, what the hell just happened there? I do not know what just happened there. I want to lower this even more, actually, but we'll do that in a little while. Right, go. That's 20. That's 30. That's... This thing does look so cool, though. It's, again, it's quite a basic design, but it does look the part. I can actually turn it as well, because they've all got turning and enabled. No! 240 before I reach the end. Let's see if I can do it. Oh my god, I can tell... I'm flying with... <laughs> so there we go. In real life, if they went fast enough, they could have took off. <laughs> okay, will it actually do it on... Hang on. If it doesn't do it in the air, it won't do it at all, will it? Yeah, that that, that, that makes sense. So I need to be go There, I'm going level with the Earth at the moment. Well, kind of. 300. It can, but it would take forever. This is quite a good plane. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> what the fuck? This is supposed to not. This isn't supposed to fly. But it's like better than half the planes I've ever built. Okay, so it doesn't reach its top speed. Now, again, that is something that I can't really fix because it will. However, you have to take off for it to work. <laughs> you have to actually get in the air. 
And there's nothing I can really do apart from maybe remove some of the fuel. Which will obviously take the weight down, which is perfect, but... Will it take it down enough? I don't even know if I'm going to need that much. So let's try that. I've taken fuel out, so it's way less heavy than it was before. I think that is it. Just balancing the power of the jets with the lightness of it. I think that's just what I've got to do. Which is kind of irritating. Here we go. Come on, Jeb. Well, not Jeb. Bill. Sorry. Didn't mean to misname you. Come on. It's on max thrust. SAS is on. That's 200. How much fuel we got? Oh, we got loads of fuel. It hit 310 when it left. Okay. It's just going to require a lot of faffing, so I'm just going to sort of mess with it for a little while. And I'll, I'll update it a little bit later when I've kind of... My brain's grown an idea or something. <laughs> okay, so to compensate for the lack of runway, I've added two solid boosters, which hopefully will give enough fuel to actually get me up to speed before I crash into, well, the sea. Or take off, because that's apparently what happens with this thing. <laughs> but yes, hopefully, this will get us up to speed. Come on, come on, come on. That's 270. I can break them off. I might be able to do it with that. I might be able to do it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I might be able to do it. I might be able to do it. Okay, so, on one button now, I have... On my action groups, when I press one on my keyboard, it will shut down both of these engines, because these ones would have run out by that time, and I would have decoupled them. So this will shut down, it will deploy all the air brakes, and it will deploy all the parachutes, just by pressing one button. So once I hit that speed, that's all I have to worry about, is pressing that button. So I should be good. Okay, here we go. Oh god. Once again, we are trying... One of the most ridiculous challenges now, because it, I'm trying to do it like how they did it. So once those run out, drop them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Reach that speed. Break. Okay, so it's all working. I can't do it. Those were the famous last words of Bill Kerman. <laughs> I couldn't have timed that more perfectly. Oh, God. Yes. The whole go big, go home crap just springs to mind. Yes. I do not know if this is a good idea. I will reach this speed, and I will stop this thing. Whether it be legitimately or not, I don't care. <laughs> it's going to happen. I will make sure it. I will make sure this thing manages to do it. Look at it. <laughs> That's a meant to be it, and it's got this bit added to it. Okay, I might just have it. I've been testing it a few times, and I'm getting extremely close now. It is now just merely a matter of balancing fuel and such. That's it, we're at it. Slow down, please! 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 I did it! Yes! It works! See, and look, it's on its own. Where, where are the other parts? Ignore that bit over there. But where are the other parts? See, they don't exist. So I, I did it, technically. Just ignore these little bits where the couplers should be. I can't believe that worked. You Can, can you stop, please? Yes! That actually worked. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. It, the time goes past so quickly that you don't even see that I've actually achieved it. And I went to the wrong place. No! Go back. You, it goes so quick that you don't... You, like, I have to do everything so instantaneously after it hits its top speed. Otherwise, I just go off into the bloody ether. I just end up going on the grass. That you barely notice it. I might, like, put a little sound cue as to when I've hit it. Because I imagine even you guys might not even be able to keep up with it. Like, I'm barely doing it. Uh, right. Go. But just watch this and you'll see that it does hit it. And then I manage to stop it. And... Break! Stop! Stop, stop, stop. It's easy! How was I struggling? I cannot believe it works. 
<laughs> I've managed to get this thing to work. Yes. Okay, you can put the brake on now. And I wasn't even pressing the brake the entire time. Now I have my finger on V instead of B. So for the last thing, I'm going to do it in first person. I'm going to see what and I think his name was Andy, was the guy who took it to its top speed. I'm going to see what and uh, if only his name was Andy. But it's Bill. Bill is in the driving seat this time. So this is what he saw in Kerbal Space Program version. Right, here we go. I have to pay attention to that SR. That That's actually going to be really useful. It's very easy to see. So pay attention to that. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And ready, break. Um, I did it, I did it. You saw it, it went to 243. 343. That's what he saw. I didn't notice any of that because I was too focused on making sure I did it right. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a nerve-wracking test because you just you can't focus on anything else apart from pressing those buttons at the right time. I'm so pleased with this though. I'm so happy it worked. Well, there we are, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me actually succeed at a challenge, almost legitimate. Well, I did do it legitimately. It was using all stock parts, to my knowledge. Um, <laughs> I think they're all stock parts, I'm not entirely sure. But I actually did it in like record time, like eight minutes. That's never happened before. Usually I've only just built the thing by that time. Um, yeah, I'm, I was very happy with this. I'm very, very happy with the second thing I built, the Frost SSC Kerbal Space Program version. I don't think I actually named it. That's what its name will be or something like that. Something along those lines, I'll come up with a name. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Goodbye.